By definition, trust is the subjective conviction of another person's probity. A person who trusts believes that the other person's actions or statements are true and sincere. Trust reduces control costs and makes us calm, until our trust is disappointed. The consequence of this is that some people become more distrustful, others downright hostile. They build up a kind of psychosocial armor of skepticism and suspicion, so to speak, so as not to be fooled again under any circumstances. This is understandable, but it makes people lonely. The fact is, trust is the expression of an intact relationship, in private as well as on the job. Trust cannot be commanded, it is given. And it requires the following five basic rules. Number 1. Communicate. To build and strengthen trust, people should talk to each other sincerely and frequently. Misunderstandings and disputes often germinate when hurt feelings are not expressed. Passive-aggressive remarks and indirect hints that you dislike something are not necessarily clearly understood by your counterpart. Instead of keeping something bottled up, always give yourself a chance to understand and talk about it together. This applies to both your professional and private life. Number 2. Stay authentic. Say what you mean, believe and feel, and do what you say. This is a basic principle of trustworthiness. However, you should not always blurt out everything directly and unfiltered, tact and timing must still be observed. Number 3. Be honest. On the job, you can't say everything you know or think. Your boss may tell you trade secrets that not everyone in the company needs to know. But before you lie, it's better to keep quiet. Or say honestly, I can't talk about that yet, if a colleague asks you about what your boss has discussed with you. In your private life, of course, honesty is just as important. No one will be able to trust you if you keep telling lies. This will only scare away people who are actually important to you. Number 4. Deal openly with mistakes. This point deserves an extra mention because it is so often underestimated in professional life. Especially superiors who serve as role models prove that making mistakes is not a disgrace. A mistake is only negative if you haven't learned anything from it. So share your learning successes with your colleagues and friends. Maybe you regret something you said to your partner? Honesty always pays off in a relationship. Share your thoughts and feelings with your partner so they know about them. Apologizing can also sometimes be important in a relationship. Confessing mistakes creates a much more trusting environment. And number 5, take your time. Neither roam nor trust can be built in a day. Trust is good, but proof in due course is better. In addition, there are other behaviors that mutually strengthen and promote trust. Openness to suggestions and dissenting opinions. Interest in fellow human beings and their problems. An open and fear-free culture of conversation making promises, and keeping them. Now if you still want to know how to win any discussion, watch the video we link to you at this point in the video, there we give you the best tips for more satisfaction in life. If you like the video then I would be really happy about a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new video.